Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss the seventh part of pre-exam question for the post of scientific observability for the science laboratory. I will try to explain all the question as simple as I can. Let us move to the question. The question is dicamarol function as an anticoagulant by option A bringing about vitamin K deficiency option b removing calcium ions option c destroying fibrinogen and the final option is facilitating the action of antithrombin let us understand the term dicamarol in brief dicamarol is also known as dicumarol it is a hydroxy coumarin it is a naturally occurring oral anticoagulant drug that deplete the store of vitamin k okay you know that vitamin k is one of the important vitamin essential for the normal blood clotting process okay so this dicamarol acts as anticoagulant by interfere with what vitamin k metabolism process okay you why this vitamin k is uh, important for blood clotting why because this vitamin k synthesizes a lot of clotting factor for the normal blood clotting process okay when the, when there is a deficiency vitamin k it will adversely affect the normal process of blood clotting okay you know that any substance which is having the capacity to inhibit normal blood clotting can be called as anticoagulant okay so my point is that dicamarol act as anticoagulant by depleting vitamin k synthesis isn't it okay and this dicamarol i already said that it is a hydroxy coumarin originally isolated from molding seed clover hay plant okay let us go through the options once again yes i think you people got the correct answer just now yes the answer is what the option a bringing about vitamin k deficiency dicamarol function as an anticoagulant by bringing about vitamin k deficiency so the correct answer for this question is option a the next question is reverse transcriptase is option a dna dependent rna polymerase option b dna dependent dna polymerase option c rna dependent rna polymerase and option d rna dependent dna polymerase okay what do you mean by rna polymerase rna synthesizing enzyme is known as rna polymerase the process of production of rna from dna is known as transcription okay so rna synthesis can be also called as transcription hence rna polymerase is acting as a key enzyme of transcription you know that rna is synthesized from dna by the enzyme rna polymerase hence rna is synthesized in accordance with the sequences found on the dna so rna polymerase synthesizes rna by looking at the sequences found in dna hence that rna polymerase is known as dna dependent rna polymerase okay hence we can say that the key enzyme of transcription is dna dependent rna polymerase the key enzyme of transcription namely dna dependent rna polymerase can be also called as transcriptase okay so um, you can expect a question like that transcriptase is the answer is transcriptase is dna dependent rna polymerase in transcription rna is synthesized from dna then what do you mean by reverse transcription the process of synthesis of dna from rna is known as reverse transcription it is just a reverse to transcription okay so in reverse transcription what happens rna dna is synthesized from rna okay dna is synthesized by looking at rna isn't it okay then dna synthesizing enzyme are known as dna polymerase 
in reverse transcription dna is synthesized by dna polymerase by looking at what rna hence uh, the key and same of reverse transcription is what rna dependent dna polymerase it is also known as what reverse transcriptors then what do you mean by dna replication the process of production of daughter dna from parent dna can be called as dna replication or dna duplication or dna synthesis okay in dna replication dna is synthesized from parent dna so the enzyme is what dna polymerase he in dna replication dna polymerase synthesizes daughter dna by looking at the sequences of the parent dna so we can called as the key enzyme of dna replication is dna dependent dna polymerase once again i am repeating remember the key enzyme of transcription is dna dependent rna polymerase the key enzyme of reverse transcription is what rna dependent dna polymerase the key enzyme of uh, dna replication is dna dependent dna polymerase remember the reverse transcription is uh, also known as what terminism okay reverse transcription is commonly shown by viruses having rna as genome okay so the correct answer for this question is what the reverse transcriptase is rna dependent dna polymer so the correct answer for this question is option d okay i think uh, we missed the question number 32 so i am discussing the question number 32 after the question number 33 the question is the disease due to nitrogen toxicity is option a kersen's disease option b addison's disease option c alshimos disease and the last option is wilson's disease okay the first option provided in the question is kersen's disease let us uh, understand some important point regarding kersen's disease in brief the kersen sickness is also known as decompression sickness and is also known by another name divers disease why because it is commonly exhibited by those persons performing deep diving okay and this uh, kersen disease occurs when the body is exposed to sudden drop in surrounding pressure okay most frequently during deep sea diving or when uh, flying in a non pressurized aircraft this kersen's disease is mainly caused due to the formation of gas bubbles in the gut and tissue at normal altitude nitrogen and other gases are exhaled or dissolved in the blood and tissue however during severe changes in altitude and air pressure nitrogen and other gases form gas bubbles these bubbles block the flow of blood and uh, this condition may leads to nitrogen toxicity and it may be fatal okay and it leads to death if it is not properly treated so the important point is that the kersen's disease is mainly due to nitrogen toxicity and commonly exhibited by divers the b option the question is addison's disease addison disease is also called as adrenal insufficiency it is not a common disorder that occurs when body doesn't produce enough of a certain hormone okay in addison's disease the adrenal gland produces too little cortisol and often too little aldosterone the c option in the question is alshimos disease it's a progressively degenerative neurological disorder leading to dementia memory related problems with increasing mental confusion emotional instability and premature death it is a, a common disease okay very familiar disease okay the option d in the question is wilson's disease wilson's disease is an autosomal recessive disorder it is characterized by low seroplasmin seroplasmin is nothing but it is a protein a major copper carrying protein 
found in the blood okay this disease is also characterized by uh, higher copper deposition in liver brain kidneys eyes heart and also it is characterized by a condition called hemolysis so the correct answer for this question is option a caisson's disease caisson's disease is due to what due to nitrogen toxicity so move to the next question the question is sx linked receive disorder in which the affected children mutilate themselves okay mutilate means harm themselves okay option a cryo chat syndrome option b patau syndrome option c lechnehan syndrome and the last option is tay sax syndrome let us move to the first option cryo chat syndrome the word cryo chat means the cats cry The Cryduchat syndrome is also known as chromosome 5p deletion syndrome. You know that this uh, Cryduchat syndrome is due to a deletion of a chromosomal fragment in the short arm of the fifth chromosome of human. Okay, here p means what? You know that in chromosome uh, there are uh, certain long arm and short arm. The long arm of chromosome is represented by the letter small letter q and the short arm of the chromosome is represented by the small letter p okay the cryo chat syndrome is due to a chromosomal aberration namely deletion in the short arm of fifth chromosome pair okay you know that chromosomal aberrations are a type of chromosomal mutation due to change in the structure of chromosome Okay, this Cryo-Chat syndrome is a typical example for chromosomal aberration, namely deletion. The term Cryo-Chat is a French term which means cat cry or call of the cat, referring to the characteristic cat-like cry of affected children. Those children having this disease uh, produce meow-like sound, cat cry-like sound. Okay, then why those children produce characteristic? cat like cry it is due to a problem within the larynx that is the larynx is not properly developed in those affected children okay the b option in the question is patau syndrome it is uh, due to the trisomy of chromosome 13 okay so this patau syndrome is also known by the name what trisomy d or trisomy 13 what do you mean by trisomy when an extra chromosome is added to a chromosome remain in a diploid condition that is known as trisomy 2n plus 1 is known as trisomy okay and this trisomy 13 is caused by non disjunction of chromosome during meiosis what do you mean by non disjunction failure of separation of chromosome during cell division can be called as non disjunction okay but uh, it affects about 1 in 12000 lipers okay it's a rather rare disease more than 80% of infants with patau syndrome die within their first year of life the c option the question is lesh nehan syndrome it is also known as nehan syndrome kelly signaler syndrome and also by the name juvenile gout it's a hereditary disorder of pure in metabolism characterized by mental retardation uh, and also characterized by self mutilation or self harming of the fingers and lips by biting impaired renal function and abnormal physical development okay or which is self mutilation is a easily observed symptom of this uh, disorder okay it's a recessive disease that is linked to x chromosome Okay, it is due to the deficiency of an enzyme known as hypoxanthin guanine phosphoribosyltransferase. It is an essential enzyme involved in purine metabolism. The major symptoms of this disease include overproduction of uric acid, urate crystal formation which look like orange sand, which are deposited in diapers of the babies, then kidney stone, blood in the urine, then the condition named dysphagia, difficulty in swallowing. then swelling of the joint then vomiting like that and the behavioral abnormality exhibited by those uh, individual having this disease include 
impaired cognitive function ill developed cognitive function then the mostly visible symptom name is self mutilation harming self harming self mutilation means self harming then aggression impulsion like that the d option the question is tay sachs disease or tay sachs syndrome tay sachs syndrome is a rare disorder passed from parents to child it is due to the absence of an enzyme that helps break down the fatty substance called the gangliosides you know that gangliosides is a compound lipid it is a glycolipid you know that okay the build up to toxic level in the child's brain and affect the function of the nerve cell this gangliosid accumulate in uh, accumulate in the child's brain at toxic level and uh, affect the function of the nerve cell this tay sachs syndrome is a fatal or a serious genetic disorder most commonly occurring in children results in progressive destruction of the nerve system due to the accumulation of uh compound lipid or a glycolipid named gangliosides okay it is due to the absence of a vital enzyme called hexosaminidase this hexosaminidase or hex a is essential for this gangliosides metabolism okay okay i hope uh, now you people got the correct answer for this question yes the correct answer for this question is option c leschnehan syndrome leschnehan syndrome is characterized by self mutilation let's move to the next question which of the following is an ideal substance for measuring gfr option a glucose option b inulin option c creatinine and option d albumin when you are analyzing this question you can see a term gfr the full form of gfr is glomerular filtration rate glomerular filtration rate is a test used to check how well your kidneys are working okay it estimate how much blood passes through glomeruli per minute you know that glomeruli are tiny filters in the kidneys that filter waste from the blood okay and the ideal substance which is used for measuring gfr is a polysaccharide namely inulin okay what do you mean by polysaccharide polysaccharides are carbohydrate made up of several monosaccharide units okay what do you mean by monosaccharide monosaccharides are simplest carbohydrate which cannot be further hydrolyzed into simpler units okay so the polysaccharide in is made up of monosaccharide namely fructose in inulin fructose are held together by a glycosidic bond known as beta 21 glycosidic bond you know that the glycosidic bonds are the characteristic bond found in carbohydrate okay uh, this insulin can be also seen the root tuber of dahlia okay as far as your examination concern the bonds found in uh, carbohydrates are of much importance so you have to study all the bond found in carbohydrate okay okay i will try to upload um, a video regarding the various bonds found in carbohydrate because uh, it is very important as far as your examination is concerned okay so the correct answer for this question is option b inulin inulin is a polysaccharide made up of monosaccharide units namely fructose okay thanks for watching my video the discussion of remaining question will be uploaded at the earliest if you people feel my video useful please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe my channel and to get notified with each and every video i uploaded please press that bell icon keep in touch and stay safe thank you